Hello from Washington, D.C. My name is Nobue. I am a percussionist, professor, music librarian, and a researcher. Over the years, the Japanese marimba literature, especially written between late 60s and 80s, became standard repertoire for percussionists. By speaking to you about the time for marimba by Minoru Miki, I hope to help you understand the music by Japanese composers. If you haven't watched my performance of Time for Marimba, I hope I make you curious enough to go watch it. Minoru Miki was born in 1930s in Tokushima, Japan, and studied composition in Tokyo National University of Music. He was a prolific composer known domestically and internationally. His works include various genres of music, through his life, Miki actively introduced traditional Japanese musical instruments to the world by incorporating them in his works. Even for percussionists who don't know his name, they would know his piece Marimba Spiritual, which gained a tremendous popularity around the world. Time for Marimba was composed during the summer of 1968 for Marimba legend Keiko Abe's The First Recital. One year later, Japan Columbia Record released the album called Art of Marimba by Keiko that is considered to be the crucial starting point in the modern marimba history. Before Miki composed A Time for Marimba, he has listened to many marimba performances, but they are mostly the arrangement of famous Western instrumental music with excessive use of roles. So in this piece, he wanted to avoid using roles unless necessary. In his early age, he was fascinated by Indonesian gamelan music. That also influenced this piece. Just like gamelan music has distinct and unique sound, Miki wanted to compose a piece that highlights the unique sound of marimba. Miki wanted the time for marimba to be free and has almost improvisation-like characteristics. It comes from his affinity for Japanese musical instruments used for traditional Japanese performing arts, such as gagaku, the court music, no theater, bunraku, and the kabuki. In these performing arts, the characteristic of the sounds from these instruments were much more important than rhythm, meter, and harmony, in Western sense. In this piece, the artist should focus on creating various characteristics of sound, depending on how effective you want to express sound characters in this piece. You can make this piece very interesting. Lastly, I want to mention about the ma, what I consider the most important element in any Japanese performing arts. Ma is a very vague term. Although the term is vague, we Japanese people, including children, would know when to use it and how to use it in everyday life. The term can also be used in architecture, sports, and other fields. But I now want to focus on performing arts. In Japanese performing arts, Ma can be rhythm, pulse, breath, empty moment, silence, or timing. Let's pick one of these examples, ma as an empty space in time for marimba. There are a lot of empty moments in this piece. The concept of ma is similar to fermata in Western music. It's unspecified length of a note or rest. If it's a rest, how you play the empty moment is totally dependent upon the artist. The empty moment can carry musical intensity from the previous section or be treated as a break. They are both ma, the important thing is that you own the moment and know what to do with it. So when you play this piece, focus on creating various characteristics of sounds for different atmospheres. Incorporate the ma that you define. Be creative just like the composer wanted it. Improvisation-like music that is relatively free from strict meter. I hope this commentary helped you to understand how to approach or appreciate the Japanese music and the performing art. Thank you for watching.